For over 20 years, I've worked and advocated for the growth of Toronto's cultural landscape. Why? Because I think arts and culture, specifically accessible arts programming, is so important in contributing to the health and prosperity of a city, especially in a city like Toronto that is so culturally diverse. When we developed the culture plan for the creative city, our aim was to transform Toronto into a world cultural capital. Since that plan was adopted in 2003, we've succeeded in putting culture at the heart of the city's agenda. We established Nuit Blanche. A million people come out every year for this all night contemporary art event. We helped to redevelop derelict industrial sites like Witchwood Car Barns into creative hubs for artists and the community that bring in people from all over Toronto. We have reimagined our museums. You haven't really understood Toronto's history until you see it interpreted by at-risk youth in one of the programs at our historic sites. Now, we're updating city policy through the Creative Capital Initiative, which builds on that success by focusing on the creative economy. Our success as a city depends on our understanding that culture matters. It gives us a sense of meaning, of belonging. It is the sharp edge of our competitive advantage. Cities that understand this will succeed.